Hey, Pastor Spieler for 64K and welcome to another episode of How To. Welcome to 64K. Hosted by Bastish B. And welcome back. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to add a game to the Commodore 64 Maxi's carousel mode. Now you can put all your games on USB and put it in and just play them straight like that. But it's pretty nice to have like a game up on your carousel that, especially one that you specifically love, maybe your favorite game. It'll have all the artwork and some pictures and everything. It's just very cool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. There is an official video by Megastyle about how to do this. It's over an hour long, so that's why I decided to make this. I'm going to make this very short and brief. I'm going to show you how to add one game to the carousel. As far as the information out there goes, you can add up to 150 games to here. I'm also going to try to keep this video as quick and as brief as possible without leaving out any information. And as per usual, this series is aimed at newbies or people who know nothing about the subject matter. I'm going to try and make it as simple and basic as possible to get you up and running. Okay, so first up, let me show you where you can download this program and then we can get everything rolling. And here we are at the Megastyle webpage. These guys also released some excellent games in the last few years like Man Cave and Bruce Lee Return of Fury. I'd highly recommend you check those out. And if you look to the left there, you'll see the C64 Maxi tool with a little fist icon there. Click on that, takes you to the next page. In the top there, you can see the video, which I'll leave a link to. You can check that out. It also gives a brief description on how to get this thing working. And if you go down to download, you can download the tool. And also below that, there's a little PDF, which you can download and read that also. And now that we've got the program downloaded, we're going to open it up and start editing our game into it. <laughs> Okay, so open up that file you downloaded. It'll be the C64 Game Tool EXE. Double click on that. You'll have a little warning here. Basically, what they're saying is this is specifically to be used with the Maxi. It can work with the Mini, but there are slight differences. Any messing around with internal hardware is obviously at your own risk. So if you don't want to go ahead with that, then you should probably stop watching the video now. Okay, so here's what the main page looked like. You go to Add. It's going to add a game. Up top here you've got a description, this is all your basic information you're going to fill in about your game. And below that is where you're going to actually link up the actual game, the cover and the screenshots. And over here is a description, you can make your own description. And below this you can set the thing up for port 1 or port 2 games or whether it's a Commodore 64 VIC 20 game. So let's go and start filling in the information. I'm going to put the game Project Firestart on here. It's an excellent game. I'm putting in all the information. I checked it up on Lemon64 if you want more information. Okay, now we're going to add the game. I'm going to choose a CRT file for it. I'll tell you why later. The rest of the stuff you can just steal off the internet. It's very easy to find. I've already downloaded all the screenshots and the covers. They're all going to need to be in the PNG file, just bear that in mind. With that complete, you're going to be going up to your description. Now you can just steal it off the internet, go to Moby Games, search for Project Firestart and just do a cut and paste on their description. It's the easiest way to do it. Now just paste it on there, done. Joystick and the Commodore 64 mode is what we're going to be using, so that's OK. Now it's created it, this is what it's going to look like on your carousel when you eventually put it in. Now we're going to go all the way to the left to make FW which is make a firmware file. According to the instructions it's a good idea to click on both these backups in case something goes wrong. Now head on over to make. Now this actually makes the firmware file, the new firmware file, save it. There we are, it's done. It's now on your computer, on your hard drive. So let's get out of here and close this program. So the file will pop up. As you can see, this is the one, it's a firmware file. We're gonna put that on a memory card. Okay, so now that we've taken our creation and turned it into a firmware file, you put that on a USB card and you put it into the Maxi there, just like you would when you do an update. And we're gonna update it. Once it's updated, it's basically the game is gonna be in the memory of the Maxi. 
so it's going to be in the carousel forever unless you decide to erase it but it'll be there so you don't need a USB the game doesn't have to be on a USB stick anymore it's in the internal memory which is very cool <laughs> Okay, here's yes, the Maxi's main page. I got it set up to go to 64 mode. Head on across to options. Then from there, go down to device settings and go to system information. As you can see, there's the firmware file that's found it 64999.bin. Go to apply. Okay, so this is going to do the usual update just like it does normally. The only difference is this bar is going to go all the way to the end and then it's going to start again a whole bunch of times. It's going to take about a few minutes so don't have a meltdown. Don't think it's crashed or anything. It does this a few times. Then it will reset itself. Then basically you just go to exit to carousel mode. He has the good old carousel. Go across and find project fire start. It should be there. And there it is, all the information, the screenshots and everything. It looks really cool. Now I'm going to click into the game, see how it works. Okay, here we are. This is when Electronic Arts still made good games. <laughs> and I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and go straight into the game. As you can see, it runs perfectly. If you've never played this game, well worth playing. I've got a rapid fire review out for it also. You can check it out for more information. And that's it. That's how to add a game to the carousel. Like I said earlier, I'll leave a link to Megastyle's video. It gives you a lot more detail about how to do everything. It is an hour long, so you better brew that coffee and get ready for it. As far as games go on the carousel, I chose to use a CRT file. The reason I chose that is because Project Firestart is a multi-disc game and the CRT is like a cartridge image and it just puts everything like compresses it into like one file so you there's no need for disc swapping just bear in mind that on the carousel you won't be able to disc swap that's the reason why I did that so if you want to play something like Defender the Crown or something it's not going to happen you need a CRT image for that and that's going to work uh, as far as other things like a regular disc file a one loader game you can use a D64 file, works perfectly. You can use tap, tap files, which are the tape files. They work perfectly as well. And thanks for joining me, Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. If you can like and subscribe, that'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.